I have just done a 45 minute video of this guitar, the Jackson, and I didn't have the, the audio on. Oh my gosh. So tomorrow you guys will get a video. Tonight you're just going to get a taste. I was going to talk about... <laughs> Five minutes. Here's the answer to the quick question that Paolo asked about. I don't listen to all the interviews. I actually just go down to Kathy's, uh, you know, the Argenzio winery place. It's five minutes away. I was just down there a couple days ago to ask a question for somebody that wanted to do something, and they're like, eh. they're closing everything down. They were pulling back and not doing anything. Apparently now they're going to uh, do with Ozzy, if he can do it. This is why I'm really kind of confused, because Ozzy looks like he's about ready to... <clears throat> but then he puts out two videos. He's not in one, and the other one he's just sitting completely cloaked. Is this marketing or not? I don't know. I really don't. It doesn't look like he's ready to go out on tour. Slash is going to be playing on some of the dates. What's that all about? And he's on that stupid song, Straight to Hell. That's why it doesn't sound as good as I thought it. I'm like, why is the guitar so weak? There's two guitars on there. There's the guy that actually pulled everything together. I don't know, can't remember his name. And then Slash, Slush, Duff, and that Red Hot Chili Peppers dude, Chad. So it's just like... Oh, Ordinary Man, I think, is the album that's coming out. Really? What happened to the 40th box set? I know they're going to try to push that to next year, but whatever. What they what Sharon wants done is for Ozzy to make these dates up because she doesn't want to pay back the millions of dollars. So she's going to try to get those dates pushed through, and then that'll probably be it. And as far as videos, there's it's the same old stuff. I know there's videos out there. I've told you a thousand times. I've saw two complete Blizzard or two complete diary shows, VHS. But in '83, it was very hard to get tapes transferred. It cost a lot of money, and when you did it, it usually the tracking was off. It looked like crap. But I don't want you guys to not you know get a good look at this. So. I, you know what, that that interview that you were uh, checking out about Paolo, uh, that was done right at Randy's birthday, which was still, they were still stinging from the robbery. They still are. But they closed off. They're like, see, this is what you get. She almost says, you know, look, at, this, is, this is your fault, <laughs> like the fans, because somebody did it. Somebody went in there, cased the joint, and got everything that they knew exactly what they were doing and apparently they have some they I know they have some security they've got iron bars on all the windows most of them but someone is able to figure it out and get in there and get out with some very valuable stuff and that sucks especially for that family it's like they haven't gone through enough really so that's why nothing happened this year um and as far as the video, I thought you were talking about this thing that they're doing with Ozzy. So the meet and greet that's going to happen with Ozzy, the shows that the roads will be involved in, they'll be selling the wine that they were going to sell this year, but they didn't because they didn't have a party. 
And that's what this other guy is like. You're you're a poser. You don't know who they are because you weren't at down you know at the winery. Because I found out that they're not having the party. I went down. I go like, are you guys having a birthday party? Going to go? No, we're going to have. If people want to come down and hang out, that's fine. Otherwise, you know, we're not in the mood. I'm like, got it. I go and then I talk to Richard about getting him some more pictures that I have. You know, the picture I took of Randy in his car. I've got another one, and I got to get those cleaned up and give them to. And I want to give it to those guys because they're restoring his car. There's a lot of things that they are doing, but it takes time. It takes money, and there's three different people. Well, Callie, Kathy and her husband and her husband is the businessman he's the guy with the smarts he knows what he's doing kathy is very nice she's very nice and she feels like she's been stabbed in the back basically and i don't blame her so this one little blip that she said about videos who knows what they are I'm telling you, I've seen them. I, I know they have them. I know CBS has a bunch of them. They're spread out through all over the... <clears throat> I don't even know who puts out Ozzy's albums still. I have no clue. Uh, you know, of course, I put that other album away, but is it Epic or CBS? I don't know. But though all of those videos aren't bouncing from record company to record company. They're being strung along but Sharon has all of them or most of them or she should and I know that they're out there and I know that wasn't the only guy that was working audio for that tour and his son had like 20 audio tapes and 4 or 5 live shows just from the diary tour I watched two shows and part of a blizzard show that he had that was at the end of that tour his father was working on he wasn't the audio guy he was working with audio you know it takes more than one person to do that especially back then now they're audio techs everything's computer you know blah 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 there's one guy controlling the lights the other guy controlling the sound maybe two guys you know and there's different parts of the sound there's front you know there's the monitors there's the PA there's all sorts of crap but the one that you hear from my bootleg is the guy that's at the board and controlling the what you hear coming out of the PA. That's why you hear the intro. That's why you can hear Randy when he's yelling at Tommy to something just before Revelation is picking up on the mics on either his cat on his guitar, which maybe, or the drum mic, which is more likely. But, you know, they're out there. Just that one little clip. Who knows? Who knows what she meant? I don't know. I'll go ask her, but she probably won't want to talk about it. Because right now they're getting ready to do that thing with Ozzy. And they're going to sell the wine there. There's there's a new wine they're putting out. Not the one that they did, you know, with uh, this. Not this, but that label it's uh the less paul label or another one i don't know i have no idea but that's what they're getting ready to do now and as far as releasing stuff everything's on hold so don't don't hold your breath don't get excited i someday it'll happen but i don't know when and I, like i said i'll try to put out as much stuff as i can but uh, even i'm limited at what i can do so there's your video for today. I'll bring this guitar back out tomorrow because there's a whole story to this. And uh, you should hear it play a little bit. So I'll do it again tomorrow. So this is part one. Part two will be tomorrow, okay? Subscribe. <laughs> Comment. Ask questions. And uh, ask questions about that. Look at that uh, truss rod. Nice, huh? And that pick is just a, some Randy thing. There you go. Ozzy, Dolores, and Bob is here, but I got another plate. Went down to Jackson, asked for another plate, and the Bob plate is on to something else. 
Because I'm scared. I don't even like playing this. I wonder if I scratch anything. This is number three. Check it out. I don't know if you guys can even see the... But if you can, that's the number. Pause it. Look at it. That's number three. All right, later.